This is the Earth Science Classroom. Welcome back to the channel. This video is on astronomy and looking at the sun's core and how the sun creates its energy through what's called the proton-proton chain. Now, this process is taking two very basic elements in our known universe, which is hydrogen and helium. Hydrogen is atomic mass of one and helium. Now we're discussing gases such as hydrogen and helium. We're looking at the atom and how atoms can configure to create different elements and how these elements combine to create our known natural world. The atom is the nucleus with the proton, inside with a neutron inside and the proton is positively charged and the neutron has no net charge due to the quarks inside the particle and we have the electron which is negative charged on the outside in the shell around the nucleus so the basic atom if you just take one proton we call this a proteum and it's hydrogen now hydrogen has three isotopes an isotope is an element with different amounts of neutrons so it has different levels or sizes of atomic mass so the three levels of hydrogen protium deuterium and tritium so the main one we're looking at is protium which is the one proton hydrogen now in the sun's core which is under immense pressure and temperature through gravity and pressure and mass of the sun so looking at intense pressure and intense heat of around 15 million degrees celsius the composition of the core as we know it is around 91.2 percent hydrogen and 8.7 percent helium now the hydrogen is the fuel that's the the gasoline or petrol so to speak into the engine of the core the hydrogen is used as a mixing element to create Helium. So the main process of this proton-proton chain, and proton chain being that positive subatomic particle, the uh, proton in the nucleus, is to have four hydrogen atoms or elements or protons combine into one single atom of helium. So first, in three steps, step one is you're looking at the four protons combining together. Now, I think of it as four single Lego bricks, right? Each protium uh, hydrogen is a Lego brick and you just connect these four Lego bricks, connect the four hydrogens together and you get a larger molecule. Now these four connect with a neutron. So you have a neutron and two protons plus a neutron and two protons. So they combine. So each one is half helium. Then you combine these two half heliums to create one helium atom. And the other two protons are discarded as a byproduct of this reaction, this chemical reaction inside the core, and goes back into the mix of hydrogen in the core. What's left is the element helium that has been formed from four hydrogen protons and the formation of this helium is called nuclear fusion. The fusion or joining together or binding of these atoms together to release the internal nuclear force inside these atoms, which as a grand total in the sun's core is an immense amount of energy that's released, which fuels our solar system. It burns the sun and has been doing this the same proton-proton reaction for the past five to five and a half billion years and will continue through the life cycle of the sun for a few billion years in the future until the hydrogen is all used up and the helium is created and other heavier elements start to be created in the sun's core and there is a reaction where the sun's going to expand into a red giant and eventually as predicted as shown in other stars around the universe the red giant's going to collapse on itself into what's called a white dwarf. It won't create a supernova as far as we know because it's not large enough of a star to have that kind of explosion in the end of its life. Sun's core is generally a nuclear explosion or nuclear fusion reactor in space and the energy created is going to create the sun's mass but also at the same time the sun's mass is going to be counteracted by its own gravity created by its mass and maintain its certain size and shape so there's a balance between this there's explosive power and force moving outward from the core from the reaction of the proton-proton chain and the force of gravity 
by the sun, created by the sun's mass to maintain its shape. So there's a nice delicate balance between these two forces. In addition to the hydrogen being lost in the proton-proton chain back into the core, you can also look at two subatomic particles, neutrinos and positrons, and also some gamma radiation and other radiations that are released in this reaction that also are part of the sun's EM spectrum. This is the Earth Science Classroom. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the content. Uh, check out more videos on our channel. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you again.